Good morning, everybody. Um, so I woke up this morning and I desperately missing home over in the Gambia. Um, especially in the wintertime, once it starts to get cold, I want to be home in that sun and in the heat. Just, oh my God, surrounded by beautiful, my beautiful people. But anyway, I am getting ready to prepare my um, Taste Sensations Soul Food Catering Brunch. So I'm doing my prepping. I'm getting ready to do uh, peel my apples, peel my potatoes for my fried apples, my fried potatoes, mix up my salmon cake mix. I'm going to do seafood macaroni and cheese um i'm gonna do sausage smothered chicken and gravy uh i'm gonna do fried fish that is our soul food um tradition our, our brunch and so um i'm inviting all of you guys to come on out uh, i'm inviting you also to like share and subscribe to my smorgasbord channel um, because we are building our audience so that once my husband and I we get over into the Gambia you can follow our journey in fact you can follow our journey now this is not something that is set in stone we are still discussing and hashing out our plan whether I'm going to be there six months and here six months or we're both going to go and we're going to be over there and just come back over for um, my fundraising events uh, for my nonprofit Global Mission Society Inc. I need you guys to go to my website and subscribe there also okay and look at the projects that we need you guys to help us with um, you know, surely you know, Jufre Village is a historical site. We need help. We need you guys to truly help us. Even if you only donate one dollar to our cause, that's a help. That goes a long way. We would hope you would donate five or ten, but one dollar would help. I'm going to set up a new GoFundMe account for this project for us to move forward we have our women's empowerment group um, who needs fifteen hundred dollars to build the parameter a fence parameter around their vegetable garden okay because the animals go there and eat up their crops um, so therefore it cuts into um, the monies that they could make by selling their vegetables and also it cuts into the nutritional value of what they're able to even serve their families because they eat off the land and they also make money off the land so listen we need your help we know we're struggling here i mean heck i'm struggling um but you know even in our struggles we still need to give because that's what god commands us to do is to share and to give and to have mercy on the uh, impoverished, you know, the poor. Okay, and so if you say we're Christian, then let's have mercy. Yes, we have mercy here, but we also have a government that will help us. And then we have family and we have friends that are capable of helping us. Some of the people there in the Gambia do not have these hands up okay um, it's really uh, when you go into our ghettos uh, the ghettos still live better than some of the people in the villages I mean we're not squatting in a hole to go to the bathroom you know we have toilets all right and uh, with that being said, the documentary that I'm working on, Omar's Wish, one of the 
uh, things that he wanted to do was to put flush toilets back there in the village instead of them having to squat in a hole. He wanted them to have showers so that they could shower and not have to go fetch water and warm it and then bathe. Um, you know, he wanted a museum. He wanted to create opportunities for them to make money. He wanted to create um, a, a nice site so that when people come back to see the royal family, uh, the Kentes and the offspring of the Kentes, because it's Kentes, Taws, you know, uh, Cisse. I mean, some of these families back there have now married and have uh, other names. But anyway, I said all of that to say that, um, you know, they want to be at a standard of a living that they could be proud of, okay? And so we need your help, guys. Uh, I have now gotten some of my family members here that is a part of that family tree um, to get on board and now to try to help us um, to uplift this village to where uh, it needs to be, where it's a village that they could be proud of, and that, hey, that we could be proud of as a diaspora, okay? We need to be proud too, because this is one of the first families that traced their roots all the way back to Africa. That's something to be proud of. And that village should reflect that, okay? And so, come on, help us, you know? Just, I'm gonna put that GoFundMe and that, um, website up so that you guys could see that and we need you guys support once i re release uh, my doc documentary um we need your support we cannot do this by ourselves guys we need your help um and so uh i have a mailchimp where you could go subscribe where you could get newsletters and all of that okay so please help us and okay, and so um, that was my commercial. And so we're going to um, go into today uh, my uh, New Year's brunch because I'm looking forward to this year being a new year, being a successful year. Although it feels like um, it is 2020 was a devastating, it was devastating. Tony and I lost, well, I lost my dad. Tony lost his mom uh, a couple months before me at the de in December of 2019. I lost my dad March of 2020. So it's been a devastating time for our family here. Uh, my dad, you know, was a staple in our family. And so, um, and for many families uh, that went to our church that's, you know, in our community. So, um, you know, we're getting through it, but we also have to move on because he would want us to move on. And he would want us to do these things, these missionary moves, like helping our family village, okay? He was very proud. Um, to know that he had and was a part of this rich heritage um, with Kunta Kente and uh, Chicken George being his grandfather, his great grandfather. And so, uh, yeah, so it's a proud time for us. And once this village is uplifted and um, re remodeled, revamped, or whatever you want to call it, whatever word you want to use to lift them up. Uh, it will be a proud time for them and all the ones that have gone on before us. So let's, in 2021, let's make this thing happen, okay? All right. <laughs>